Aloha, we're Pepper, and we play Dean Markley. All right. All day. Aloha. There's always more than just one place to find me. Oh, that's easy for me. Come on your arm. Come by, as you are. Come as you come are, as sorry. You are. Right. By Nirvana. Nirvana. At least I got the man. Nailed it. Right. Which, uh, speaking of, of transcribes, I, uh, I wrote down in history class for him because he just bought a new bass he's bragging all over the world about it so sick uh, but doesn't know how to play bass <laughs> not so and, sick right? and so I wrote down in tablature the notes to hit and I gave it to him like he literally drew on like binder paper I, in tablature the notes well I didn't even know what tablature I'm still not sure yes yes but you do it's a it's combination a of stole. lines and numbers on different lines means I don't want to go into strings it. it's a lot of Right. It's a lot, it's kind of music theory. Anyway, lines are, but then the first song, the three of us learn how to play. Now that's a bigger question. Oh! What, do you remember? I think I remember. I think we played Killing in the Name of Oh, it was the first song because we were playing we that. We had learned. Yes, yeah, so we were playing that, and it was like one of the ones where, like, oh yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, we you know, know this one? song so good. You know good. this one, and he's like, I think that might be. When I know that. I don't know totally, but I'm kind of excited. Like, let's it, go with it. I think he had some kind of like, yeah. do I know that song? Kind of thing. And that was definitely in our set list back in the day. All so, six songs. So basically, what sculpted Pepper right off the bat was "Come As You Are," "Killing in the Name of." Yeah. Is there another one? Oh, just all the Sublime and 311 shit we used to play. Yeah. All the Jimmy the Cliff Romeo. stuff we used to play. We gave up on Bob because it was too hard. Yep. And then, um, Romeo, I don't think I Bob would be bare ass. Yeah, that's probably the most yep. technical stuff we played. So what you're saying is, essentially, we, all the early music that we ever learned and only could play is the music of the bands that we tour with these days. Basically, yes. Oh, oh like no effects. Come full circle. No effects stuff, too. Full circle. We used to do a linoleum. Yep. I remember that one. Right. Well, like you said, 311. Yeah. We used to do Rico. Rico. Yep. At the end. Yeah. Close, close out a party with that one, right? Wow. Yeah. So wait a minute. Are we just like a high-end or low-end kind of cover band? We're mid-range. Okay. Mid-level. So I'll take it. Yeah. We're mid-level. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> upper, to, upper to mid. Upper mid, upper right? To mid well, I remember that's how we decided that we were going to be a band is people would say, you know you just played that song wrong. And then that one and that one because we used to only know how to play covers. And then we'd play it again. Right. right. So then we eventually had to write our music, which was correct because we he wrote it. Well, yeah. Right? I, Back me up. I right? totally right. Okay. I think that's right. That's got to say something. When you're jamming and playing. And smiling. And smiling that's and enjoying. Cool, I don't remember. I think we used to like play Ernie Ball or something like that. Is it because they are awesome. nickel wild? I could be, but when we Only a drummer would bring that up, by the way. 